Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So, uh, it appears that we got another show that has ended, and I'm kind of hurt by it, but at the same time, I feel like this was one of the more lackluster, um, season finales we got out of a lot of them which sucks because being one of my more uh, entertaining shows that I was watching at certain points was nice to see you know like different cool aspects being used but then all of a sudden it just like fell apart at the end of this story and I think it had something to do with like the positioning that the two final characters were in and anyways like they were in a spot where it seemed like they couldn't really do much in the first place you know it seemed like because of where they were at they didn't have you know fighting room really to get down mind you we have our main character who literally all he does is punch you know so imagine if they put saitama in a in a position where he couldn't punch uh like there was so much in between him and the opponent that he couldn't just uh get to him and then all of a sudden the opponent just allows him to get to him you know it's just, it was just really weirdly um choreographic but if you think about it it's not like this is the first time this has happened, you know, like, we have seen a lot of this show giving us some weird, uh, overall narrative fights, like, for instance, uh, Toma literally swimming in the water so fast to catch up to somebody and punch them, you know, like, that, that seemed like it was kind of over the top, you know, all of a sudden, He's accelerating at this ridiculous speed that, you know, would be ridiculous to try to do in real life. But, you know, it's it's an anime at, at one point. But really? But at the same time, it just, I don't know. It's like, where's all that speed when you're on the ground? You know, like, what? <laughs> why are you only this strong uh, underwater? Why are you that fast underwater? Why are you this fast? Um, I just, I just don't know. I was looking forward to like a, at least a, a out, a, a longer lasting fight, I guess. And with that hopes, it just wasn't uh, supposed to be, I guess. It seemed like these two characters had some, some interesting facts that they could have used in the sense of their fight overall. And instead, I'm dead. Um, instead, they kind of just went with a lackluster overall narrative, in my opinion, and like, oh, we hate each other, and we're going to punch each other. And then at the end of the day, Toma, being the good guy that he is, still, oh my god, still saves this guy's life. I'm just going to call this the background video, me getting slaughtered by a monkey, okay? Um, don't, don't worry about it. I'm trying to fight him live right now while talking, and it's just not working. I'm getting hit by stupid stuff. Um, so, we honestly get to see, you know, like, them throw one or two attacks at each other. And after those attacks are done, it goes right back into where, oh my god, bro. Right back into where the narrative kind of left off. Um, which... To be fair, I did not mean to use that. Um, a lot of the narrative with, like, Accelerator was... I feel like it was lost. Like, unless I just blinked for a couple of seconds and then Accelerator was just, you know, uh, not relevant all of a sudden. Like, I could have sworn he became very powerful to become relevant. And then he ends up not doing really anything relevant. <laughs> I don't know. That was just that was just like my that's my two cents on if you're going to show a character that could do quite a bit, why not actually have that character do quite a bit? I don't know. I was I was let down, but um 
at the same time, I really do like this overall like series. So that's why I think it hurt the most to see the season finale go out on such like a a weird like note. Uh, okay, he just kept swinging. That's cool. Um, I mean, we're looking at we're looking at a show that truly has like angels and all this crazy stuff in it and the biggest thing in the show gets taken out just by a simple punch you know like that's the type of stuff that you see in dragon ball or you see in like these old school yu yu haka show like oh my god he has enough power to destroy the universe but i better punch him in the face you know like what, what do you mean brother like this guy is literally about to reset the earth and you're telling me after you punched him once and it didn't work, you punched him twice, it's going to work? You know, like, it, it just it just feels weird. Um, not to mention he then goes and we hear about how strong the angel girl is getting from uh, just eating, not eating, but absorbing the power of all the uh, water or like the ice near her. So she's becoming much more powerful, much more probably quicker and all these different things. But then what does Toma do? He punches her in the face. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just getting kind of, uh, I don't know, it, it got kind of contuitous. Uh, not to mention the fact that the one character that I wanted to see go off didn't need, even need to do anything. Like, he just kind of flexed a little bit that he was... A weird angel thing um, that I guess once he became okay with the idea of being good, he pretty much just gains angel wings. I don't know. Let me know if you guys felt like a lot of this stuff was v relatively forced or just like it just didn't feel like it made any sense, you know? Like it felt like. A lot was happening, but with no explanation. And then the things that was getting explained was stuff that was been explained time and time again. That if you missed out on it, I don't know what show you're watching, but you didn't need to explain it for this episode as well, in my opinion. Uh, the simple fact of why, uh, you know, the, the world thing is going to fall apart or whatever, <clears throat> the way he has it rigged and stuff. I don't know. It just it just all felt kind of uh, lackluster in my opinion. Like they could have used all that time for something else, like Accelerator and Toma working together to fight the guy. But then on top of that, the person who comes up and actually like ends it all and you know does what we all expect, which is you know someone probably losing their life or doing some stuff like this. And the person who does it, dang it, I wasn't, this camera sucks. The person who takes care of the business, so to speak, is a person that, you know, is much, much, much more powerful than we can ever imagine, I feel like, at this point of the story. Like, after seeing everything we saw this week, it all is, like, very, very under el underwhelmingly weak to him. <laughs> like... The way this guy showed up and did what he did makes me believe that there isn't much he can lose to. Um, not to mention the fact that he brings up the uh, arm and that being the true reason why um, that guy has to die. You know, like because he saw what was inside of the arm or just like battled it. He he had to die in that guy's opinion, and I'm just playing so stupid right now. Awesome, but overall, I really am a little bit disappointed in the ending. But at the same time, it's it's weird to say that it also was somewhat entertaining. Uh, I mean, we got we literally got Accelerator to admit that he practically loves this this chick that could practically now be his little sister or something you know like he's treating these misakas like well at least one of them like she is everything to him and that's a dramatic change for his character <clears throat> so 
to think that that was one of the things that were going to come with all of this was pretty awesome, but it wasn't nearly uh, flushed upon or like talked upon because I think of what we're going to get that's coming relatively soon that one of my anime people have gave me some confirmation on, and that is the fact that um, he's going to get his own standalone show, kind of like Misaka and how she was like her own standalone character in her own series and there's people like forming groups around her and people that wanted to be like her and stuff like that I think it's going to be remotely the same as that uh, or from what we see in this week's episode it could be something a lot different than I actually expected which um, it looks like it might just be him demolishing everybody uh, that's done him wrong or that's actually uh, going against the sisters and stuff like that. I think that is more or less what he's going for uh, as of now. His foot hit me, guys. His foot, and that made it so I did no damage at all. I love it. <laughs> wow. Um, and I, I don't know. I just feel like Accelerator is definitely their one saving grace that came out of this season and to think that a lot has been built up now for this the guy who shows up and straight up destroys the main bad guy um to think that there was somebody that could easily dispatch him out there is pretty crazy and to think that um we probably won't be seeing anybody standing a chance against this guy anytime soon so that's also something forward to look uh, to look towards in this in this show is how are they going to all of a sudden beat someone who is catastrophically stronger than the last villain that they could barely manage to take care of uh, in this season, you know? So it's getting interesting. Um, I think this was the best indicator that there has to be another season just because of the way it ends overall. So. I like stuff like that where you make it obvious for the fandom that there's a whole lot going on that they didn't touch upon and that there's a future uh, already being set up through this, the season that we just watched for another one. So overall, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case it is when you're watching this. And I hope uh, to hear what you guys feel on this week's episode of this because last week... It was a lot of people were bored of it and were also kind of like eh, mad slash impatient <clears throat> because they wanted to see more and it just wasn't happening. So to know that it could possibly happen again is kind of sad. And at the same time, um, hopefully it doesn't come to that. But overall, I will talk to you guys in the next one. I have a feeling that we are going to be seeing quite a bit of Accelerator uh, if he does get to spin off series, we will be seeing him probably bodying a lot of the uh, underground people still, or maybe this time just the bad people who um, own the Misikas and stuff like that, who literally thought they had him on a leash or something this week at the end of this episode. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, we'll just, you know take accelerator and do whatever the heck we want with them we, we, we got a good trade out of this like no dude like accelerator is the last guy you want on your plane with some people who can't even oh my god with some people who can't even think straight you know so it should be a, a very entertaining episodes for accelerator if that is his overall plot if not um i'm pretty sure they can come up with something uh, incredibly intelligent for him, like to do overall. So I'm just looking forward to what they might have him do. Let me know if you guys uh, would watch more Accelerator over the overall normal season now because of just how this ended and all this build up we got for like two punches, three punches to land and end the whole uh, season finale was kind of weird to me, but. Maybe I'm just forgetting how the other seasons ended and this has been a normal occurrence because I know a lot of fights have ended this way. I just don't remember the last fights ending this way too. So 
all that being said, I will talk to you guys in the next one. So, peace.